Dr. Robert Simon has been known to tell International Medical Corps workers facing a challenge, three steps forward, one step back, nothing wrong with that. Looking at his accomplishments, which have included providing over $1 billion in health care to people in more than 65 countries since 1984, it's hard to see anything but forward momentum. Dr. Simon's ambitions weren't always so global. He first attended medical school at Wayne State University in Michigan, doing his residency in emergency medicine at the University of Chicago. He then joined the UCLA faculty. He was soon appointed director of the Emergency Medicine Surgical Procedures Laboratory, where he pioneered several procedures. It was at UCLA that he learned the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan had killed, jailed, or exiled all but 200 of the country's 1,500 physicians. Dr. Simon brought supplies, offered care, and tried to convince existing humanitarian organizations to help out. None thought it viable to train workers in a war zone. So in 1984, he founded the International Medical Corps. He recruited Afghan locals, trained them for nine months, and sent them back to their communities with supplies, equipment, and the skills to deal with 90% of the injuries and illnesses they would encounter. By 1990, IMC had trained more than 500 medics who then helped open 57 clinics, at least one of them in a cave, along with 10 hospitals serving 50,000 patients a month. Over the past 27 years, IMC workers have trained during bombings in Bosnia, dealt with famine in Somalia, and created an award-winning midwifery and nursing program in South Sudan. IMC has also worked in Darfur, responded to the earthquake in Haiti, as well as the tsunami in Japan. The IMC has helped Dr. Simon manage his local challenges as well. Following his time at UCLA, Dr. Simon was chairman, then executive chairman, of emergency medicine at Chicago's Cook County Hospital and Rush University Hospital. In 2006, when the Cook County Bureau of Health Services had a $130 million deficit, Dr. Simon, as Bureau CEO, cut more than $100 million from the budget while preserving all essential services. Dr. Simon is also a founding member of the American Academy of Emergency Medicine and author of six medical texts. In 1988, President Reagan praised Dr. Simon, nominating him for the Heritage Medal of Freedom. He won the 2003 David K. Wagner Award from the American Academy of Emergency Medicine. He has been profiled in many publications, including People Magazine and Fast Company. When he's not touring war-torn regions or improving medicine in more privileged parts of the world, he manages to enjoy time with his wife Marilyn and their three sons, Adam, Timothy, and Jeremy. And wherever he goes, people know. His three steps forward always leave deep impressions.